In this video I'm going to show you just a few of the different settings you can play around with in terms of what gets viewed on your profiles. So if I have a look here I've got essentially two profiles drawn on my green line I've got an existing ground profile and my red line I've got a proposed design alignment vertical alignment for our center line of a road. So at the moment the bands that I've got are chainage, existing level, horizontal geometry and vertical geometry. And I'm just going to add in um, a couple of different ones here just so you can see how it's done. And uh, then you can have a play around with it yourself and see which ones you need for your particular application. So to make changes to these bands you need to first of all select the band by clicking on any of the lines of it. Then come up to the profile view properties button. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in a new band. What do I want to show in the new band? I want to show the vertical alignment, the design vertical alignment, and I'm going to leave all of those ticked for now. We'll do fine. Uh, the style, I'm going to change the style from chainage to, uh, we'll say, profile one levels, and go OK. And I'm going to come over here and just see what we've got on profile one. So it's the um, it's going to be the VP rather than the existing ground level vertical profile. So it's the design profile. So that's what I want. And I'm just going to go apply, and I'm going to go OK, and we'll see what we've got here. So it has produced a new band, but it hasn't done exactly what I wanted to do. What it has done is it has brought in the existing ground levels again, and you can see here we've got a 49, sorry, 46.962. And we've got a 46.508608709. Uh, Actually, that is the existing level. Sorry, that is the proposed level. It's just been labeled up as existing level for some reason. Let's go back and have a look at that. So it's still selected, so we can click on here. And why is that coming up as existing levels? Just going to change this to profile two levels for a second. Change this one over here to profile 2 and apply and OK. Yeah, so now we've got proposed levels. I had the wrong one selected in there. So we've got proposed levels now along the um, new vertical alignment, that red line there. A couple of things we can do just to kind of tidy this up even more. We can reorder this so that the proposed levels are sitting beside the existing levels. So we'll go in here and we will select this one and we shall move it up. And also we'll get rid of the gap, change that 12mm gap down to zero, and apply and OK. And it's the same information, it's just been presented slightly differently. So here we have the existing ground levels and we've got the proposed ground levels along the alignment. One last little trick, which I'm going to show you, and you may or may not find this useful. I'm just going to see if I can get um, another band in here for the difference in level. So we can automatically subtract these to see whether it's in cut or in fill. So back into Profile View Properties, I'm going to add a new band, and it's going to be for the uh, vertical curve. Go OK. Now the band style that I want to use is going to be Level Difference. So we click on here, and we'll just make sure that Profile 1 is the existing ground, and Profile 2 is the proposed ground level. And again, I'm going to get rid of that little gap in there of 12 mil and call it zero. I'm going to go apply and I'm going to go OK. Now, again, I seem to have skipped a section here. I'm just going to change that. I don't want it to come up as chainage. I'm just going to go in here again. Um, yeah, the style was set to chainage there. That style, I thought I had set that to level difference, but obviously I hadn't. That should say level difference in there and apply and OK. Yeah, so there we have now level difference between the existing and the proposed level. And I suppose one last thing you could uh, look at doing there would be to uh, maybe bring those bands together. So one last trick here. We're going to take the, uh, the difference in level and I'm just going to move that up so that it's sitting underneath the 
proposed and existing ground levels it probably makes more sense to have them like that so here you can see an existing ground level of 46.962 a proposed road level of 46.5 and a difference of 454 millimeters so very useful information to be able to extract for uh, quantities and for things like um, mass hall diagrams that type of thing